after the weapons of mass destruction thing was debunked, George W. Bush not only said it was debunked, he then changed his stated rationale for the war. Now, he wouldn't have to do that if the weapons thing still stood, right? I mean, why change your argument and start saying it's about all kinds of new stuff that's not weapons if you could keep counting on the old weapons argument that you'd used in the first place? After the weapons issue was disproven and George W. Bush admitted it, the president stopped talking about weapons, and he instead brought up all kinds of new arguments for why we invaded Iraq. He argued that we had to invade Iraq because Saddam was committing fraud in the U.N. oil for food program, you may recall. Saddam was systematically gaming the system, using the UN oil for food program to try to influence countries and companies in an effort to undermine sanctions. See, it wasn't weapons, it was that George W. Bush was interested in ensuring the integrity of UN programs and was willing to back up the integrity of those UN programs with the might of the US military, yeah. Uh, then he argued that we had to invade Iraq to create democracy. Advancing the cause of freedom and democracy in the Middle East begins with ensuring the success of a free Iraq. He also tried the argument that we had to invade Iraq in order to save Iraq's women. As the citizens of Afghanistan and Iraq seize the moment, their example will send a message of hope throughout a vital region. Young women across the Middle East will hear the message that their day of equality and justice is coming. Mr. Bush also then argued that we had to invade Iraq in order, this is novel, uh, to get new allies. The goal in Iraq and Afghanistan is for there to be democratic and free countries who are allies in the war on terror. That's you, the goal. Whatever you think about the, we invaded because of the oil for food program and we invaded for the women and we invaded because we needed allies, whatever you think about the individual merit of these retroactive rationales for starting the war that we heard from George W. Bush after he started the war, whatever you think of each of those arguments, the bare fact remains, just in pure logical terms, that we would not have all those retroactive rationales if the reason President Bush said we had to start the war in the first place had held up. Iraq did not have the weapons. Right. Iraq did not have the weapons. And George W. Bush knew it and admitted it and therefore changed the explanation for why we had to go to war. George W. Bush, in his own recent history, in just the last few years, admitted that weapons of mass destruction were not why we went to Iraq. He's admitted it, except in his new book, he regresses, despite admitting it over and over and over again before, despite changing his rationales for the war to account for the fact that he couldn't talk about weapons anymore. And now we're back to weapons again. Now we're back to pre-Iraq war Bush again, saying that removing Saddam from power was the right decision. For all the difficulties that followed, America is safer without a homicidal dictator pursuing WMD. Pursuing WMD. Saddam Hussein was not pursuing WMD. We know it. George Bush knows it and admitted it before, but he's back to making that case again in this book now. This is in the book that came out today. That's why George Bush feels good about the Iraq invasion despite everything else that happened. I know he's the past president. I know this is a book tour. I know I'm never going to get to ask him this directly, and I know we're a different country now. But we're a different country now. Are we supposed to fall for this again?